YouTube or anyone on social media, your preferred uh, forum or anything like that, whoever is watching this video if, as much as possible, whoever can watch it as much as possible, we need to address the fucking elephant in the room. We really need to come together as a society and address this before it gets way more cringier and cancer than it already is. We need to address this. If you're a collector, if you play card games or board games, or, you know, it even applies to consoles since it happened last year. Watch with me the literal cancer that has, in this video, if you will. This video was posted at least seven days ago, so I'm a bit late on it, but I want to, uh, highlight or uh, reflect on it. I, I wanna I have a short rant, if you will, that literally needs to be um clarified because as a collector it pisses me off. But before we get to that, watch this crap. You're seeing this, right? You're seeing this, right? If this isn't proof that we need to... How do I put this? Gatekeep, at least in a certain way, that I don't know what it is. Because as a collector, as someone who genuinely plays a card game, I, 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 gotta, I have to. I have to say it. I really have to say it. Because I have to get it off my chest. And I hope one of you can really uh, see it the way I see it. I don't give a shit if those cards are worth anything. I, I don't care if they're Rainbow, Marnie, or your uh, GX, or VMAX cards, or V cards, or your Charizards, or anything like that is worth anything on eBay or Amazon. I don't care. So to see stuff like this, to see people just rushing to different stores, to Target and Walmart or whatever, to literally act like savages, right? To steal cards, not steal cards, that's bad. To, you know, fight over cards like it's a, you would think it's a Black Friday moment, right? Like, what the hell are you guys doing? You are not Logan Paul. You are not on TikTok. You are not TikTok popular. You are not... What are you doing? You don't even give a shit about these cards. It seems to me that all of you do it just for TikTok clout. I mean... What else could it be? It's been bothering me since... Like... Since that video came out. You know? Um... I was watching it several times before I'm like, dude, this has never happened two or three years ago. I remember in 2018, 2019, like, I'd be going to Walmart like it's nothing. I'd be like, I'd see different packs. I'd see Elite Trainer boxes like, all right, it's there. I can get it anytime I want to. Uh, I have the, the time I need. I don't have to worry about anything. I could build different decks, you know, every now and then. But this, this shit, especially right here. What are you doing? What are you doing? For what? I, I, am I the only one that, like, cringes at this shit? Uh, what is this? I haven't been... I, I cannot genuinely build different decks or cards or anything like that, you know, just to have fun. Like, I can't do that much anymore and if you go on Amazon you go on eBay or anything like that the price of an elite trainer box which is normally at, I, I think it's like 60 or 80 bucks goes to 300 200 at least 
Now, I don't know if it's because, oh, they're not um, reshipping anymore or anything like that. But the correlation seems way too uncanny, you know? Like, it bothers me. I, to the point that I have to import my cards straight from Japan because they're cheaper than the ones here in America. What have we reached, you know, as a collector? What is this shit? Like, does anyone not feel bothered by it? Does Is there no way we can do anything? Target recently said that they can't sell anymore uh, because of shit like this, right? Does anybody uh, else agree with me? Like, I, this is probably just me rambling on or anything. This, this is just a short rant, but it's been bothering me all week. Like, dude, what are you doing? To what extent? Because you want to pull a shiny Charizard or or what? Do you want to be like Logan Paul or some shit? Dude. Think about the other collectors. Think about people who genuinely want to play the game. You know how hard that shit is? I, I go every now and then. <coughs> excuse me. Every now and then I go to Walmart. And this pisses me off because I know for a fact that when I walk into Walmart, I, I, I guarantee there's nothing going to be there. There's nothing that's going to be there. Nothing. Whereas before, and two or three years ago, I would go in there and I would see Elite Trainer boxes, Pokemon cards, whatever, like po Pokemon packs, if you will, anything, like it's nothing, right? But if I walk into a Walmart or a tar Target, pff, GG, but if I walk into any Walmart, guarantee I will not see anything. I will not. It's, I, I, I don't even want to bother trying. Because of shit like this, and there are some crazy ways that um, some companies are doing to avoid the scalping. It's gotta stop. I've read that there's gonna be like what raffles for some people who genuinely want to buy the product to collect and build the packs. Like, come on, guys, what are you doing? It, now this is embarrassing. It's like you don't even care about the cards that you're collecting. I bet. You just want clout and money. What are you doing in our in our hobby? I'm gonna say that in our hobby, only for you to just ruin ruin it for others. You don't play the game. You don't even like collect as a collector. Even collectors are better than you because they collect and keep it forever. You're just doing it for the money and for the fame for no reason at all. Like, what are you doing? This is my, this is a short rant, and you know, um, I guess I'll put in a little introduction right here. My name is Ben. I'm just a just a normal dude who likes um, card games, anime, uh, stuff like that. Um, welcome to my channel, I guess. Yeah, it's a little bit weird, but uh, every now and then, I guess I'll post different things uh, that's on my mind. Uh, that, you know, that's interest me this week, and yeah, uh, thank you for watching my video, and see you next time.